So uh, my name is Shelly Jewell. I'm the Director of Education Abroad here at the University of Wyoming. Uh, I've been here since October 2017. I came here from directing an Office of Study Abroad in Nashville at Belmont University. And the reason I do what I do is because of my own study abroad experience when I was an undergrad. So we work with both outgoing students and incoming students. For our outgoing students, we provide a full suite of services in terms of helping students select a program, advising them through that process of application, what kinds of things they need to, to be doing for preparation. Uh, we are in contact with them while they are abroad, uh, if they have any concerns, any need for assistance with classes or um, just connecting back here with the University of Wyoming. And then upon return, we also provide programming for those students as well. Um, I tell students that there are so many choices uh, for length of program, for destination, uh, for um, type of study. So we really want students to come to us and work with us through that advising program process to pick a program. Um, in terms of incoming students, we work with 38 partner universities across the world that send us their students and then uh, we can send our students to those institutions as, as well. Um, so we welcome those exchange students here to campus um, and provide similar advising support for that group as well. want students to think of this as an academic experience so it's really study abroad um, so we really want students to be thinking about their academic plan the needs for specific coursework and then affordability for our programs um, we try to take care of the health and safety piece um, we wouldn't be selecting a program or sending a student to a, a place that we felt like was unsafe or that they wouldn't uh, be successful there and then the same goes for providing insurance and uh, providing visa assistance. So what we really want our students to be thinking about is what they're studying here at the University of Wyoming, what program overseas is going to help them achieve those academic goals, and then in terms of their own personal finances, which program is going to be best for them uh, in terms of cost. So we encourage students to plan ahead. Uh, we want to make sure that the program that they're selecting fulfills the requirements for their particular degree. So when they first arrive on campus, if it's something they're interested in, we want them to come to our office. We have Education Abroad 101 sessions that are hosted by our, a staff member from our office and a past study abroad student. So they get not only our perspective, but a past student's perspective as well. And that provides just really general information about the different kinds of programs we have, possible locations, so it's a really good place to start. Uh, if they have more specific questions, we have open walk-in hours four days a week in two-hour two blocks, Monday through Thursday, so they can come in and just ask any of those general questions that they have. If they've selected a program and are very serious, the application process starts the semester before they want to go. So that's when they would come into our office and we'd walk them through that application process and do our pre-departure orientations, make sure they have the appropriate documents as far as a passport and a visa. Uh, but planning is really key so that we make sure that students, we don't want study abroad to ever set a student back from graduation. If anything, if they do some of our short-term programs, we find that students can graduate early because they've gained those credits um, between the fall and spring semester breaks. So. Planning is key. Just tell them to come see us. <laughs> we ask that students have a 2.75 GPA and that they aren't on academic or um, disciplinary probation and that they have at least 30 semester credit hours. They can go abroad beginning um, the summer after their freshman year if they have those 30 credit hours. There is a program that we have, um, it's a semester program in London, and that program, it, you can go on that second semester freshman year, but everything else we ask that you have those 30 hours. There are certain programs that do have different GPA requirements, but the minimum is a 2.75.
So we have moved all of our applications online. So it's an electronic process through what we call the Cowboys Abroad Portal. It's a two-step process. So we want to make sure students complete our University of Wyoming application, and then there would be typically a separate application for an exchange program or one of our partners or affiliate programs. For the faculty-led program, students would be working with the faculty, but they would still com be completing that application online through the portal. How does financial aid work with students who are studying abroad? Are there scholarships offered? So any financial aid that students receive here at the University of Wyoming can apply to their semester programs. For students studying um, on during the summer, as long as they're enrolled in six credits, they're eligible to receive financial aid. We work with Lori Jeskowski in the financial aid office uh, for all of our study abroad programs, so she's very familiar with what's available. If a student's aid package needs to be adjusted due to the cost of a program, um, she works with us to, to do that as well. Um, in terms of scholarships, we do have one of the largest, I think the largest endowment uh, for a public land grant institution for study abroad uh, in the country, thanks to uh, Dick and Lynn Cheney. So we award over $315,000 in uh, study abroad scholarships, and those are either departmental awards or those through the Cheney um, grant. So there's lots and lots of scholarships available, and there's also national awards which we can advise students on also. So I don't ever want finances to be a deterrent for students to study abroad, um, and I also tell students to apply to as many as possible uh, because if you get $500 here, $1,000 there, um, it all adds up so that you can cover the cost of your flight and those additional expenses for studying abroad. I would encourage them to tell the students to come and see us at our office um, and also telling them that, you know, study abroad is possible for just about everybody uh, because we have opportunities that aren't during the semester so that you can go over the J term in between the fall and spring semester. We have summer program options as well. If students need um, something outside of study, so if they need to do research, if they need to do an internship, we have opportunities for that as well. Um, so I would hope and want uh, advisors just to encourage students to look into it and not think like oh, it's not for me because I'm studying engineering or I'm a nurse. I have too uh, many requirements that I have to fulfill on campus that I can't do it. Um, I just want them to encourage them to come and talk to us and hopefully we can find a program that suits their needs. So we just last semester started um, both a UYO Abroad Ambassadors program and a Global Buddies program. So for our ambassadors, we provide training for them um, and ways that they can share about their study abroad experience to the campus community. So they're with us at any of our events that we do for admissions um, and they sort of just act as a separate kind of publicity side of uh, study abroad. And so it's a really great way for them to find other like-minded students who want to share about their experiences and talk about what happened. Uh, and then our Global Buddies program is for our study abroad students, we pair them with an incoming international student so that they can develop those relationships. If they um, are studying a particular language, then we want to pair them with a student from that particular country where that language is spoken. Uh, and we are also now working with the career services to provide workshops for students. Um, I think anytime typically you meet a study abroad student and you ask them how was your experience they're gonna say it was awesome. So what we want to do is what we're calling go beyond the awesome um, and give students ways to articulate um, what this experience did for them whether it be for graduate school interviews, for job interviews, what it should look like on a resume uh, and give them talking points so that they can tell um, prospective employers or graduate schools, you know, what this experience meant to them and, and the skills that they gained. So those are some things that we're doing. I think for us it would be so helpful just to keep the lines of communication open while students are abroad. 
because they're going to need to be selecting courses for when they return. Um, and academic advisors are so key uh, for us in helping students decide which courses they want to take on these programs and what's going to really best suit them. Um, so I just think communicating with our office, communicating with the students, um, just helping in that way would be so beneficial for all of us that are involved.